Welcome back everyone. I have another video, short one today, but I thought it was too good a chance to review this, which is kind of expensive, and uh, tell you about it, tell you how I feel, taste it, tell you how it tastes. So this is called Urongi Sal, and it's from the city of Nonsan in Chungcheongnam-do. Uh, and it's a very old brewery. The brewery started in 1923, which would make it a brewery that started under the Japanese occupation when they were hanging around here. Uh, that's a another story for another day, but uh, it's very old. So how, that's what, 98 years old at this point? Yeah. Uh, so very old brewery. And uh, it was started by the grandfather of the current CEO, and it's been handed down through the generations. And it's in the same spot, and it's in the same building, <laughs> which is super old, I'll show you here. And uh, they still use the same well water from the original brewery. So they're using the same water from 100 years ago, basically. So this is a very old brewery. This bottle here is 17,900 won. So a uh, fairly, fairly expensive bottle. It's not crazy expensive, but in the grand scheme of Makali prices, that puts it up there with one of the more expensive ones. So uh, the brewery is still in that old building from 100 years ago. They have two stories, and the interesting thing is on the first story they do the brewing. The second story is like this big flat area with holes in the floor above the vats, and they go up there and they... It's just... <laughs> you think of a Makali brewery with like... Or a beer brewery with like scientific instruments and like big vials and like uh, sensors and stuff. No. They go up to the second floor, they pull the little door off the little hole above the vat and... Uh, mm, something's wrong or mm, mm, yes perfect yes yeah. so they're doing it the old style way uh, so you can see I'll sh I showed you the bottle but there is a kind of label of authenticity Munongyak Urongi Salo Bitsun Yangchun Urongi Sal Chongju so two important words here Munongyak uh, no pesticides uh, it's not quite considered an organic makgeolli, but it is pesticide free, so that's good. And this is not actually makgeolli, I lied. This is Chengju, that word down there at the bottom. So this is, uh, I'll, and again, I'll make a makgeolli video later, but in short, all the sediment is taken out. This is like first pressing. So that's why it is 14%, and there will be no milkiness, no cloudiness from the rice sediment. This will be very clear. Uh, it's in a brown bottle. <clears throat> So I'm kind of curious as to what the color of the actual Chongju is. Jesus. Ah, oh, okay. Wow. This is the only thing. There is no resistance there. Like, this is the only thing verifying to me that that wasn't opened yet. There was no seal or anything on there. That's basically just like, okay, tight enough. All right, let's get some pictures of this. Ooh, nice color. Yeah, kind of looks like a yakju, nice yellowy color. So uh, you can see my Ulongdo cup here. Let me focus that, that's terrible. There you go. So, nice light color, super clear. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. It's almost like a hospital smell. Like it doesn't come at you like boom, it's like very neutral, very clean smelling. Yeah. Some makgeollis, when you open them, it's like bang, right in your face. You can smell that it's going to be sweet. Now, uh, this company makes like a normal makgeolli that's like, I don't know, three or four bucks, and it's called, uh, you know, dry. They advertise it as dry. So I imagine this is going to be dry. I imagine it's the same makgeolli. Let's see. Is it worth 17,900 won? Ooh. It's not as dry as I thought it would be, but it's definitely not as sweet as a lot of these are, too. Yeah, it's like really clean. There's like a nice kind of like, sou not sour, sorry, but like a really astringent, without being too bitter, right on the back of your tongue that really hits really hard. And then it kind of dissipates and there's like this nice clean, like six out of 10 sweetness that just lasts for a few seconds and then it's gone. There's very little aftertaste for this at all, which is nice in a Chongju. Not all the time, but if you have too much of that aftertaste, it's usually not like a great aftertaste if it lasts too long. Yeah, there's like a really freshness to it. 
and it kind of hits, and then there's a sweetness, and then done. Very clean on the finish. Hmm, all right. Um, I, how much would I pay for this? That's the question. Knowing what I know now about the taste, I've never had this. So if you charged, I'm not gonna say it's worth 17,900. That's not a horrible price for it. It's not a rip off or anything, but I, if this was like 13,000, 13,500, 14,000, I'd say, sign me up. I'll, I'll get this a lot. I'll still buy this again, but again, it's what I think it's worth. Uh, percepted value. <laughs> so, let's go through the ingredients. Now that we've tasted it, let's see what's in here. Uh, water, Korean pesticide-free chap status of the sticky rice, which is 33% of it. And then we have ipgok made from uh, sticky rice, so like a fermentation starter. Uh, hyomo yeast and jongguk. Diane, come here. Say hi. All right, now get out of here. <laughs> You've had your time in the spotlight. Uh, I guess what I'll say is you're paying for... You're paying for that clean finish. And like I said, their other cheaper brand says dry on it. So I think that's probably one of their marketing things is, you know, in and out, crisp, clean finish, done. And I will attest to that. Yeah, I, again, I, don't, I wouldn't say that it's worth 18 bucks necessarily, but again, I'm not saying that it's overpriced. I'm not, I'm not angry about that. But if you do see this, and it's not common a lot, Definitely pick one of these up if you're a Makali drinker. Give it a shot. You may love it more than I do. Um, out of 10, I'll give this like a seven or a seven and a half. I am quite impressed with how clean it is. That's giving it a little more bump there. But that said, there isn't a lot of complexity to it. It is quite short snap, clean finish. So uh, it doesn't rank up there with some of my other favorite ones on an eight, eight and a half, nine, ten level. So. If you're ever at the store and you see this, I can say give it a shot. See what you think. If you have had this, tell me in the comments below what you think. If you've never had it, tell me if you think that you're gonna buy it next time or you'll stick with the green bottle shit. Diane, come here. Wanna help me? Wanna help me? Here, Diane, come here. Here, have some makgeolli. Okay. You're supposed to say no. No! <laughs> Diane, what do you say when someone offers you makgeolli? Yes or no? Yes. <laughs> Diane, come here. Will you help me? I'm there. Diane, here. Have some makgeolli. I don't care. <laughs> I have obligatory Pokemon card. Bye!